An astute employee noticed the chaos, quickly grabbed a net, and looks like he has successfully caught the dog. The net is our symbol for the lymphatic system, and the dog with the cancer hope ribbon around its neck as part of its dog tags should make you think of cancer. So together, these ideas should help you remember that patients with CVID may present with lymphoma. During this chaotic moment, a customer became distracted and accidentally shot himself in the foot. Now we can see the store manager who appears very concerned and is attempting to console this customer in pain. Anyway, the arrow represents an antibody, and the fact that he's shooting himself should make you think of antibodies that attack the host's body. In other words, this represents autoimmune disorders. So patients with CVID have an increased risk of autoimmune disease. The dog also happened to crash into another customer, causing some arrows to break into pieces. The arrows are a symbol for immunoglobulins, and the fact that they're broken should help you remember that immunoglobulins of all classes are low. So patients with CVID will have decreased immunoglobulins, such as IgG, IgA, and or IgM. Finally, we've added another guy to the scene who doesn't seem too bright, and he has mistaken the Archie's indoor archery logo for a target. We can see that as he tried to shoot it, he missed and accidentally hit the business's plasma TV. The plasma TV represents plasma cells, and the fact that it's being destroyed by an arrow should help you remember that plasma cells are decreased. So patients with CVID will have decreased plasma cells. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about CVID.